Good morning, good evening. Welcome to your full moon video, the 24th of February 2024 full moon guidance. Um, I am Rubina Kodadin, artist, healer and spiritual guide and um, I'll try to guide you through um, this full moon. So. Um, we're going to first look at what is happening and I will give some guidance which is relevant for all of us and then I'll go sign by sign a bit more briefly. So um, as usual, full moon tends to highlight what is um, happening in an area of life. It tends also to bring some sort of culmination point where we can say, okay, we can't go any further, we need to change something to make things work. So this is pretty much what full moons um, are, especially that this full moon happening, so on the 24th of February, is in the sign of Virgo. So basically the highlight is that the sun um, is opposing the moon, that's normal, right? But specifically here, uh, we could look at the sun as what we want, what is our desire and the moon is what is needed to achieve that desire. So what's happening is that um, we've got um, Sun also sitting between Mercury and Saturn. So Sun opposite Moon, Moon Virgo uh, um, and the Sun, Saturn and Mercury in opposite sign being Pisces. So when we've got those Sun, Saturn and Mercury together, it means that there is a need to be very clear. Um, there is a need to be very patient, there's a need to be mature, there's a need to think about structure and Mercury is about thinking so there is um, and Virgo is also a practical sign there's a lot of emphasis on practicality, on longevity, on um, the future so we've got the concrete energy of Saturn, Mercury in Pisces, which is a dreamy side sign. On the other hand, we've got the moon, which is a water element, fluid, which is sitting in a practical sign, an earth sign of Virgo. So there's a little bit this kind of, uh, I would say it's a bit like rice, which is cooking. <laughs> rice is very earthy, right? And then there's all this water, which is where, where the rice is trying to kind of uh, get cooked little by little and if you know I don't know if you've ever seen a, a rice cooker it sort of cooks little by little right and uh, you can't just if you switch it off then the rice stops cooking if you put too much water then it will the rice will get soggy if you put too little water the rice won't cook so it is, it's a little bit that's what's happening here there's this balance between um, the watery elements so it can be the balance between our intuition our emotions and the balance which what is concrete and what we can see what is realistic so the very first guidance i have for all of us is that um, to make sure that we balance our intuition and and our a realistic view of what's going on so depending on our personality it might be easier to sort of uh, lean on the intuition but depending on your personality it might be easier to lean on facts and here the guidance is to look at both facts and reality facts reality and to lean on our intuition so it might be interesting because full moon also brings up emotions it might be interesting to um, look at what the messages of the emotions are and the messages are usually not just kind of airy fairy and dreamy messages are sometimes very practical so um, make sure you go to my youtube channel there's a link in the description box below and on there there are so many videos about emotions and there's one i made about a year ago which is about the messages of the em emotions and you're going to see that's quite interesting because sometimes we tend to either we over analyze or we underestimate so this full moon is about the balance between not so much over analyzing but at the same time not underestimate what we are feeling so it's a I would say a, a rice cooking full moon <laughs> so one of the guidance is to balance uh, reality and intuition and you can sort of uh, 
find some help on my channel regarding messages of emotions for instance okay what else is happening is uh, there is Jupiter in Taurus right and, uh, to, and Jupiter is going to make a trine to um, the moon and also Jupiter is making a sextile to Saturn so Jupiter is a planet of hope of expansion so this is also this is where we can get the help because the energy of uh, this full moon can be very stern um, so Jupiter where it's sitting in the house it is sitting in and I look at this in this other part of the video this is where we can get some help and that's kind of good news especially that Jupiter is in Taurus so another earth sign and that can help us and what else is happening is uh, Venus and Mars are in Aquarius and they are squaring Jupiter so again depending on your personality it can bring a lot of enthusiasm or sometimes even over enthusiasm um, because uh, Jupiter can kind of expand this this ex enthusiasm that v Venus and Mercury are sitting together so again depending on your on the way you are it's about being realistic <laughs> it's about being intuitive and at the same time uh, bring keep a level of positivity so with those uh, three different kind of ways of being we can more easily take advantage of the practical and the long-term um, view that this full moon is asking us to 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 take it's asking us not to just look at today but to look at tomorrow and as you know sometimes it is by um, making little steps day by day that we get to a better tomorrow so I would say philosophically um, this is probably um, the the um, viewpoint that we might need to, uh, to adopt to be um, to have our feet on the ground even if we've got our we are dreaming with our mind so now I look at uh, sign by sign uh, where this uh, sort of energy is sitting and give guidance for each one of us and I'm going to start with Gemini and move on so see you in a bit Hello Gemini rising, I suggest you look at the rising sign rather than your sun or moon but if you want to you can okay. So sun is sitting in the sun, Mercury Saturn sitting in the 10th house Pisces and full moon is in Virgo fourth house which is the house of the house, the house of family, the house of roots. Um, so by looking at making little adjustments to the house environment, making adjustments to the family dynamics, we can more easily um, go towards what we want, not necessarily today, but as time goes, we can more easily achieve success in the 10th house. Um, there needs to be th there are things, there are things that need to be fixed. So we can rely on our intuition, but also look at things practically what's happening. Um, I'll give you an example because I'm Gemini rising and I feel the full moon usually well before so it's already active for me now at the time I'm recording this video so what's been happening is that uh, um, there are there's spaces in my home where I've all, I'm dedicating each space to work whether it's artwork whether it's recording videos whether it's having a healing session so there hasn't been a space where which is like only private so around this full moon it's a little bit like I had to reorganize everything so as to make sure that separate private life from outer life right um, from what people see in the outer world so by being more organized at home I can more easily be organized at work and make it easier as time goes to record more videos to have more clients for instance so this is what is happening for me so something similar could be happening for you or it could be adjustments within um, your family let's say you live at home but maybe you need to go and live by your own so that it makes it easier for you to go towards the career that you're intended to go towards and um, 
what is helping us is uh, to fix this is um, Jupiter and Jupiter is sitting in the 12th house of Taurus so what is helping for instance uh, me in this scenario which I just gave is the fact of uh, um, taking more rest then I can be more clear-minded because as I said at the, in the first part of the video, it requires all these adjustments, requires us to be very realistic. So being, um, taking more rest. Um, also sometimes for some of us, it might be healing some family issues because fourth house is the root and Taurus in the 12th house is a lot about healing. So it could be for you healing some family issues so that you can more easily go towards your career which is the 10th house so yeah so if you need a one-to-one -one consultation with me make sure you go to the description box and get in touch um, otherwise i'll leave you here doc uh, don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel instagram and uh, i've also got an etsy shop with some uh, um, beautiful cards i make from my painting so make sure you check all that and uh, see you next time bye bye Hello Cancer, Rising, Moon or Sun, um, usually I advise to look at your rising sign but um, if not, well, you can also look at your Sun or Moon sign. Um, the, so the Moon is sitting in your third house, the full Moon is in your third house and Sun, Mercury and Saturn are in the opposite sign of Pisces, so in the ninth house. Third house is the house of the mind, the communication, day-to-day -day life and day-to-day -day thoughts even. So there are some uh, adjustments that need to be made around communication, around ways of thinking, about ways of communicating because by making those adjustments you can all more easily uh, in the long run not straight away because remember Mercury, Saturn are uh, Saturn is a little bit more about longevity so it's, the result won't be felt today but as time goes if you look if you adjust your communication skills then um, there will be some long-term goals that can be more easily achieved so um, because uh, the ninth house is all about long term so maybe it, uh, it might also be the way we think because third house is the way we think so sometimes by changing the way we think a little bit it can be easier to sort of project into um, a wider philosophical space which is the ninth house and what is helping um, what is helping you cancer rising is that Jupiter in Taurus is in the 11th house so you can definitely find the support of uh, friends maybe some friends or some groups of people have got the tools the necessary tools for you to be able to make those adjustments so it's about um, uh, changing today for a better tomorrow uh, using the support of the community the support of friends um, if you need my support <laughs> you can book a consultation the link in the description box below make sure you also um, check out my youtube channel and my artwork on instagram and on etsy so um, thank you for listening and uh, see you soon bye bye Hello Leo rising. Um, I suggest you look more at the rising sign um, but if you are also sun or moon you're welcome to watch this this part of the video. Um, so your the full moon is sitting in Virgo in your second house which is the house of self-worth, the house of uh, work, um, the house of values also what gives us our sense of value and uh, by changing things regarding your values by um, changing maybe doing little routines every day that help enhance your self-worth you can more easily achieve what is going on in the opposite sign of the second house which is the eighth house eighth house is about intimacy it's about um, psychological also um, patterns so it's a lot about like your psychological 
inner works that kind of need to be changed and that will help like a bigger picture by changing the little inner workings we can change a bigger the bigger picture it can also be because second house also the house of work so it can be that there might be some changes that you need to bring them about in your uh, work environment um, so that you can achieve a better sense of like um, feel more at peace also because eighth house is a bit of a psychological house so feeling more at peace can take longer because of Saturn there but by changing whatever is happening for you on a uh, smaller inner level we can achieve what is happening on a bigger wider level and it can also help how you relate to other people on an intimate level because if we've got more self-worth um, for instance we are less defensive in our in our intimate relationships um, we are more at ease and at peace with other people as well so that can help what what um, help we will get is from Jupiter. Jupiter is in the 10th house, the house of uh, exp the house of expansion, the house of our reputation. So sometimes by expanding an area in our life, we can achieve more self-worth and this can this repercussion can also be felt in our intimate life I know that kind of sounds a little bit muddly <laughs> but let me try to give you a concrete example uh, let's say um, okay there's many issues you're having with your partner okay on an intimate level intimacy is not necessarily sex right intimacy can be many things so let's say there are some issues there and things can be changed but sometimes you need to work on your self-worth and sometimes by uh, looking more at your ambitions and finding this recognition and the self-worth from your ambitions that can bring more stability within yourself and this stability within yourself can have repercussions on your intimate relationships <laughs> I hope that helps and um, if you need like um, a bit more help support um, my um, link is in the description box also there's my youtube channel to support you if you need um, to kind of work through self-esteem confidence etc and uh, yeah join me wherever you want on instagram for artwork and um, see you soon bye bye Hello Virgo rising um, or Sun Moon if you want also um, this full moon happening in your first house which is your house of identity your house of also looks right also the house of um, your outer truth and the moon sitting in this space of identity outer truth is uh, obviously um, asking you to look at how you feel you might be tempted to um, be more inclined to look at what other people think of you because Sun etc is sitting in the seventh house of partnerships so you might be inclined to look more at what other people are saying what other people are thinking but this full moon is asking you to look at how you're feeling about yourself how you're thinking about yourself and make those adjustments here so that it can then um, have repercussions on your partnerships as well um, because sometimes when you look we look at our feelings and our emotions there are some truths that come up and to look at them through a realistic lens which might not always be easy because when there's the moon in your sign you can feel emotional so the key is to um, make sure you deal with your emotions um, process them and then also um, look realistically what changes you can make um, within yourself what changes you can make also um, sometimes in your appearance sometimes that why not uh, and then and then only kind of deal with the other people because the other people might 
there might be some sort of uh, demands from other people that maybe you're not ready to give yet or maybe there are you might want to get the approval from other people but first and foremost because full moon is in your sign to be very realistic and practical and see what is there that you need to look at within your own self and your own identity um, that can be changed and what will help is that Jupiter is in the ninth house and Jupiter so is in the house of uh, philosophical views of um, spirituality as well of uh, some sort of connection so maybe by uh, leaning a bit more into your um, spiritual journey um, that would be a bit that will help your sense of self be more authentic because this full moon is uh, for Virgo rising particularly is uh, much more about authenticity within oneself and then we can be authentic with others as well and uh, helping help from um, spiritual journey help from also spiritual teachers um from help from astrology help from me if you need guidance um, consultation the link is in the description box so this is where i will leave you also make sure you check my youtube channel so many videos especially about um starting spiritual journey etc so see you here there on instagram or um check my etsy shop as well many cards that I make that are really inspired from this um, higher source <laughs> so thank you for listening see you soon bye bye hello Libra rising man, moon or sun I uh, usually prefer that you check your rising but you're also welcome to check if you are if it's your sun sign so your moon um, not your moon the Virgo moon is sitting in your 12th house and opposite a uh, Saturn Mercury and Sun are in the sixth house 12th house is the house of healing <laughs> So yeah, you've got in front of you somebody um, who's a healer. So I know very much about the 12th house. So it's the house of healing. It's the house of escapism. It's the house of hidden habits also. And this is where maybe things need to be adjusted, need to be looked at, need to be changed. Or maybe you get to a point where, okay, enough of whatever type of healing, I need to change um, my way of looking at healing. Um, it could also be that I need to change some sort of habits that I haven't told anybody about, but maybe now it's time to look at those habits. So this is what uh, the full moon is a sort of, um, looking at and uh, this the point of doing that is that so that you can be in a better health so that your day-to-day -day routine which is the sixth house in the long term in the long run can be even better it can also mean that because you're making those adjustments sixth house is a house of service so because you're making adjustments in your inner um, unconscious kind of realms realms which is the 12th house then it can be that maybe in the future you can yourself serve and you can yourself kind of help people which is the sixth house and which is where mercury and um, saturn are but the key is to be very realistic about that and to lift the veil which is what 12th house is about is a veil so by lifting the veil and what can help um, immensely is Jupiter Jupiter which will be in the in Taurus so Jupiter is in the eighth house so the eighth house is the house of of guidance is the house of psychological sort of patterns is the house of also um, maybe intimacy so sometimes maybe somebody who's very close to you um, can help you in that because what happens often is that um, in our intimate relationships um, those hidden things from the 12th house can be revealed so by um, delving more into um, okay it's not so much delving more into the intimacy but by allowing other people to be closer to you it can funnily enough help 
to unveil what is sitting in the 12th house and that can help you in the future for your day-to-day -day healthier lifestyle basically um, also if you kind of need help eighth house can also be help from a psychologist okay um, not necessarily um, a healer but if you if you want to then you're welcome to book a, a consultation with me the link is in the description box so i hope that helps and um, yeah make sure you join me on instagram as well for some artwork and don't forget my youtube channel okay see you soon bye bye Hello Scorpio, your full moon sitting in the 11th house, the house of friends, circle, so social life and this is what sort of needs to be looked at and cleaned a little bit <laughs> and um, maybe the more you look closely and very realistically at um, your friend circle at who you engage on a social level um, the more you're realistic about that the more that will help you have more fun that because um, opposite to that um, 11th house is the fifth house which is the house of romance creativity and fun also so strangely enough sometimes by making adjustments in our social life so by cutting down social life we can have more fun because maybe the fun is more what kind of br brings us alive it can also help your romantic life more by um, uh, changing stuff around your social life I'm not saying cu I said cutting down but sometimes it's the opposite sometimes you need to have more social life to be able to kind of uh, find inspiration to be more creative which is in the fifth house having said that the results is not going to be uh, immediate because uh, of Saturn and Mercury as I explained in the first part of the video so make sure you look at the first part you haven't done so yet so um, changes in one area which are sometimes kind of forced and if you see if you look at how you feel around your friends around your circles around your social life you will see whether you need to change we need you need to add more social life and that will help also sometimes be happier on a more uh, romantic level for example and what can help is or Jupiter. Jupiter will be in the in the seventh house in Taurus. So sometimes it's the help of your partner. Sometimes it could be that it is your partner that's telling you. When I say partner, it's not necessarily like your love partner. It could be like your partner in um, whatever. It could be your when if you play tennis it could be your partner in tennis who's telling you look um you know um, maybe you need to trim down a bit your social life or maybe come let's go to more parties and who knows you go to this party and then you meet the person that you love and you have a great romantic life it's just this kind of um it's not a straight road it's more I changing here uh, accepting with some humility because with um, this energy around Virgo it's also a bit about humility so accept the advice maybe of people in your partnership circle or ask them advice <laughs> and that might help if you don't want to ask them advice you're welcome to get a consultation with me and uh, you know see if there's anything that you need to work on to be able to um, go wherever you want because the Sun is uh, definitely in the sector of um, the fifth house which is also creativity so maybe there are some creative pursuits that are hanging there and waiting for you to um, Mm, to be expressed so yeah just see how you can navigate that through other people which is pretty much what this full moon is it's emphasis on on where you shift your attention where you put back your attention and all of it can help into some better yeah better creative life better romantic life also um talking about romance etc make sure you 
check my um, Instagram page um, with lots of artwork and uh, yeah, join me on, on YouTube as well. We've got, I've got lots of videos I make about how to how to be more creative as well. So yeah, see you there. Everything is in the description box. So until next time, bye bye. Hello Sagittarius, the sun rising or moon, um, the Virgo full moon of February is in your 10th house which is the house of long term goals of recognition of public image as well. So there might be adjustments that are required from you um, in your long term goals and these adjustments have you have to look at them in a very realistic way. Are my long term goals realistic? and uh, is my public image um, compatible with the image that I want to give? Is uh, how can I change something about this uh, the way people view me. You, we can't change people, we all know that, right? But we can make adjustments within um, how we project to the outer world to change that view. Mm. So how can you change that? Um, because that will help uh, definitely uh, what is happening in your fourth house where the Sun, Mercury and Saturn are. And uh, these, um, by changing some aspects in your public life, your home life will get so much better. Not today, not tomorrow, but as time goes. And also your maybe your family relationships might get better as well. Because um, let me give a, a small example. Let's say um, you publish lots of videos on Instagram which are which give a certain image of you, right? Which maybe your family is not very happy about. Um, maybe by changing, just making a little adjustment with the kind of photos you post on the on on Instagram, let's say, um, that can change your relationship with your family. Sometimes it's little things that can have a massive impact, and it does require a sense of humility because Virgo, um, Saturn, everything that does require a source of a sense of humility and what will help also is Jupiter in the sixth house in Taurus Jupiter will help you because if you reorganize um, certain aspects of your life and also if you look at what is healthy because Jupiter in the sixth house is also about health maybe look at what is healthier and uh, for yourself change that what is healthier to show the world change that and um, hopefully and as time goes your family life your emotional life because fourth house is also the emotional life can get so much better um, because sometimes it's um, with the uh, nowadays how um, the impact of others is kind of extreme the impact of the image let's say I'm talking to you and I gave a certain image whether I want it or not I am giving an image so obviously the way I dress does make a difference um, to the image I am giving and it can actually help in a help my um, how my family views me for instance so um, bringing a bit humility um, is uh, I would say the the core for Sagittarius um, rising or moon or sun um, and obviously humility is also linked a little bit with our spiritual dimension so make sure you check my YouTube channel I've got so many videos about how to start our spiritual journey for instance so you can join me in there you can join me on Instagram as well for artwork and um, yeah everything in the description box so see you soon thank you hello Capricorn rising sun or moon your full moon is sitting in your ninth house which is the house of philosophical pursuits of higher learning religion um, and there might be some um, the full moon might bring to light certain feelings you have about your um, beliefs 
it can bring certain feelings about maybe your um, if you're at university let's say about the the path that you're choosing so there might be like a, a strong pull towards change um, so the key is about listening to this pull but not necessarily acting upon it at this very minute listening to the pull and taking time to look at what changes need to be made to adjust this pull because sometimes the full moon can bring those strong feelings but it might not um, it doesn't necessarily mean that things have to change today so it's to acknowledge those feelings and look at the reality of it let's say you are at university and suddenly you feel like okay I, I want to change totally um, my field of study um, but it might not be possible just yet maybe take time to research take time to research what is it that you can change when you can change that so being very practical realistic because the um, your um, because it's in Virgo and also um, that will help what that will help that will help um, from the fact that opposite to your um, to this full moon you've got um, Sun Mercury and Saturn in your third house so there might be a lot of information that can sort of uh, come up so really um, it's about um, mind a lot about mind so the key will be to look at how you feel blend it mix it together with what's going on in your mind what's going on in uh, what you hear also because third house there's communication and information so picking up all this making a little um, cooking all this in your pan before you make any changes and and what will help is um, Jupiter. Jupiter will be is in uh, Taurus in the fifth house. So sometimes what can help is uh, um, being more creative because Jupiter in the fifth house. So sometimes by looking at all this in a very creative way, you can achieve um, the adjustments that you need to be made, and that will help you in the long run. Because some because um, fifth house is also the house of uh, of um, of romance so it could be that it is uh, your um, your girlfriend boyfriend that can help you make sense of this so it's all about talking thinking communication and feeling as well so make sure you have little talk discussion with those people the other thing is uh, Jupiter in this in Taurus in the fifth house is also the house of children and as we know sometimes children are our um, our uh, greatest teachers um, and um, we often think that the changes that we need to make because because of uh, moon in the ninth house we might think that okay I need to go and study and travel the world could be but sometimes you can look at if you've got a child or nephew niece sometimes you can look at the child and see how, what, how they're acting and get some amazing lessons from there that can change your philosophical view of life I will give you a, a personal example um, when my daughter she was a really sm she was like um, two or something um, she would like take Hour, I mean hours to eat she'd chew so slowly and it would drive me totally nuts and at that at that point um, I was uh, much more um, hyperactive than than just like now <laughs> for instance so um, and it used to drive me nuts and I used to be quite very anxious as well so sometimes if I had only looked at her what is driving me, driving me nuts how she is slow at this maybe I could just have looked at this and think okay what I need now to make this adjustment in um, is to slow down can be something so simple so look at uh, whatever is in Jupiter your creative pursuits look at your girlfriend boyfriend talk to them look at the children and possibly that will help um, change like um, some philosophical outlook and uh, 
and communication as well will be great so if you need more information communication join me on my youtube channel the link is down there if you need inspiration for creativity instagram and uh, don't forget to check my etsy shop as well thank you for listening see you soon bye bye Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Um, if you haven't looked at the overview, I advise you to look there um, for some more detailed explanation and guidance. But for this part, uh, I'll try to give you some guidance regarding um, how that might play out for you. Full Moon will be in your 8th house. The 8th house is the house of intimacy of your own psychology. So, um, especially Aquarius being an air sign, um, Full moon in Virgo, Virgo being a um, very practical sign, also um, ruled by Mercury, which is also like about the mind. My guidance for you will be really to learn to uh, make sure you acknowledge and process your emotions big time um, because with um, all this practical energy sitting in in the opposite sign of Pisces um, and Saturn there and Mercury there um, you might be inclined to ignore the emotions and go direct to practicality which is not the same for every sign because some signs are more inclined to go um, direct to emotional and intuition but possibly for you especially with this aspect um, I would advise that you process your emotions uh, very well and for that you can look at my youtube channel the link is below there's so many information about how to process your emotions etc so this is one specific guidance for you especially um, the other thing is is that um, um, you might uh, what will help this what will help this is the fact that Tor that we've got Jupiter in Taurus and Jupiter is in the fourth house so again fourth house is family roots emotion so strangely enough for you Aquarius because um, we all for many signs and even at the beginning I've talked about practicality reality and all that for you it is about practicality and reality but not so much the outer reality but the inner reality so how are you dealing with your emotions how are you honest with your emotions are you processing them are you how is that working inside you and the more you're honest with that um, the more uh, that will reflect on what is happening in the second house which is where the sun is opposite your the eighth house opposite the full moon and the second house is the house of self-worth of work so the more you maybe dig into your internal emotions uh, the more that will help your sense of self-worth for example so uh, the realistic and practical view there is not so much the outer practicality and reality this is looking with your realistic eyes what's happening <laughs> within you so um, if you need help with that you can book a consultation with me um, the link is in the description box below if you need help with all that you can also look go to my youtube channel the link is again there and uh, yeah make sure you join me on instagram and forget don't forget my etsy shop some nice uh, i make some nice cards which are very much linked with emotions yeah like some of the paintings you see behind me because um, contrary to most of the signs um, I feel um, for you it's much more internal and more the in-depth than the just pure realistic practical outer thank you Hello Pisces, Sun, Moon or Rising. The full moon is in your seventh house, which is the house of others, house of partnerships, contracts. And um, this is where possibly there is a culmination happening in your life. A culmination doesn't have to be ending. It can be um, the end of arguments. It can be the end of uh, 
um, harmony also. So there's something that might be happening there, the end of something, or it can also be that there is a change that needs to be made around the contracts that you have. Sometimes the contract is just simple contracts, even if you're just in a relationship and you're not married, it's also what you agree upon, it's also a, a form of contract. So by making those small changes, it can help you be more um, true to your own self because um, opposite the moon is um, where everything is sitting in your house actually um, the sun mercury and saturn everything is there in your in your own house so by changing what's going on with others you can be um, in the long run be more authentic to who you are so sometimes we need to change what's happening within us to kind of help things happening with others sometimes we need to change what's happening with others to make things happen within us so it's not <laughs> always an easy task but for you it is more changing that side of things with patience and diligence um, because um, the sense of identity which is where saturn and mercury is sitting in your in in your um, with your sun in your first house this is like um sometimes our identity especially for certain signs maybe pisces also can really depend on what others think of us or how others are uh, behaving with us uh, so sometimes we need to change how how others are behaving with us so that our sense of identity can be more grounded can be more peaceful can be more authentic as well um, I know it's a little bit kind of philosophical although at the beginning of the video I talked about practical and realistic but sometimes practical and realistic is with other people is how we deal with them just kind of change something if you can of course and what is helping which is great is Jupiter is in Taurus in your third house so what will help is your communication skills definitely it can also be a um, short trip it can be you take your partner on a short trip so that you can discuss what needs to be changed and that will reflect further on on your own self um, sense of self yeah um, you can also maybe find a mediator to so that you can change something in the dynamic with your partner a uh, partner can also be can also be like a job so maybe there can be a third party that comes and help you talk certain parts of the agreement and as you are more at ease with certain parts of the agreement in your own part of the job you feel more at peace so there's this uh, um, it's not so much a push and pull, it's like uh, using words and communication um, to help uh, um, acknowledge certain changes, acknowledge certain feelings, so that in the long run, Saturn being in your sign Pisces, in the long run you feel um, that you are more authentic and true to yourself yes yeah, so i hope this helps and as a pisces maybe you might like some of my cards that i have on etsy make sure you look at that instagram as well otherwise join me on in my youtube channel everything is down there thank you hello aries rising sun or moon your full moon is in the sixth house um, the sixth house is the house of day-to-day -day practices health habits etc so by doing little changes there you can definitely help in the long run what's going on in the 12th house 12th house is the house of hidden things the house of um, your spiritual spirituality can be the house also of your healing so by doing little changes in your everyday life it could be things like eating it can be things like okay I will take every day five minutes in the morning to meditate or to do um, a healing meditation for instance on my channel there's so many healing meditations I do this every day five minutes um, yes that can help easily um, restore 
in the long run I say easily I mean easily as an easy fashion but not necessarily quickly so it's an easy way to achieve a long-term goal so by doing a little change on a daily level on an easy way you can achieve like a long-term healing you can achieve um, maybe some sort of even a better mental health so this is what I my guidance for you is and what is helping is Jupiter sitting in the second house of Taurus um, second house is your sense of confidence so by tapping more into your confidence and saying to yourself yes okay I think I can do that because Jupiter is telling you yeah be confident try it, do it and I'm sure you will feel better but it requires that very um, realistic view of what needs to be changed and this is what the full moon is this full moon in Virgo which is a realistic view of what needs to be changed so if you need healing meditations for instance make sure you join me on my youtube channel and uh, also artwork on instagram and uh, of course uh, make sure you get in touch if you need a one-to-one -one consultation i hope this has been helpful see you soon bye bye Taurus, last but not least, so full moon in your fifth house of uh, creativity, romance, um, fun. What things can be changed? What is it that you've stopped, let's say a hobby, that you think, okay, now I need to change hobbies. What is it that you can change? And especially, I'm, I'm thinking more of creativity. How, what things can be changed? Creativity doesn't have to be art. I mean, art is creative, right? Uh, talking about art, don't forget to join me on the Instagram page. But creativity can also be in your work how can you be more creative in your work and by being more creative in your work or creative in your love life also that can help uh, build a better social circle that can help bring more long-term plans to fruition which is Sun Mercury Saturn in the 11th house so making those changes in the fifth house can help definitely more longer term plans and what will um, what is supporting you is uh, Jupiter in the first house in your rising sign in your ascendant so that's amazing because the more you are feel uh, you should the more you feel positive um, then the more this changes can feel less heavy because uh, with uh, the full moon in Virgo sometimes the changes can feel very heavy but uh, feel opt keep feeling optimistic um, there's a beautiful meditation healing meditation on my channel on positivity make sure you look at that um, you can subscribe to my channel which is the link is below and uh, maybe by feeling more optimistic and funnily enough as I'm talking to you I'm suddenly feeling very optimistic so hopefully this is something that can com be communicated to you and uh, um, seeing things in the long run not just like tomorrow things will change but things will change in the long run so yeah uh, make sure you join me on uh, my different platforms and uh, this is also the end of the video it's been a pleasure to have you all with me and um, wishing all of us the best <laughs> with this practical full moon and um, and uh, thank you for your presence and thank you Nadia for your trust in me thanks